So you elect not to return back to Northwestern this year. What do you think really played a role in that decision? And what's your take on those guys currently still in the quarterback room? You know, I think I've been in college for a long time, five years. And uh, it's not like I've I've only played a year or two. You know, I've, I've played a lot of a lot of football over the last four years. Um, so I think that was, you know, the main reason. And I don't regret anything. I had a lot of success and I did a lot of really cool things and, and fun things. So I think, you know, I put my best foot forward and ready to move on and uh, and try for that next step. And um, Northwestern's quarterback room, um, Hunter Johnson and Andrew Marty, the, the two guys that are leading that room. You know, I, I think both are really good players and both have a chance to um, to make it happen next year. Um, really good leaders, awesome people, um, guys who I got to know and, and get to call friends. So I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know how it's going to shake out, but uh, they're in good hands for sure. You described the ending to this season as a storybook ending. How rewarding was this for you with just one season with the team as a transfer? It helped. I think it helped a lot, especially when you go up and you play against a good SEC defense. But I think, you know, personally, I guess more than anything, it meant a lot. You know, didn't get to spend a lot of time at Northwestern at all. You know, really six months, that was it. And um, Got to know some of those guys on a personal level and some guys that I, that'll be my friends for a long, long time. So going out with a win and playing well, yeah, it's good for my draft stock. And I think it means a lot that I, you know, statistically played the best game of my season. But I think more than anything, just um, for the guys in that locker room, those people that I met along the way, I think it means a lot more to them um, because they've been there for so long. And uh, it was just a special ending. And heading into the upcoming draft, what do you think that you specifically bring to the table for a team? And what are you looking to improve most upon? I think the biggest thing um, that I bring is, and where it all starts is the way I prepare. Um, you know, not only in the film room, but the way I take care of my body. And um, that's the way I've always been. Um, but the way I watch film and, and get prepared and know what the other, what the defense is going to, was going to show me is kind of why I had success in college. Um, you know, and then I'm mobile enough to get out of the pocket and make plays out of the pocket and athletic to do that. And my footwork has, has come a long way. Um, and then continue to, uh, to just make those big explosive plays down the field. That's always been a knock of mine that I haven't done that enough and done it consistently enough in college. And, um, something I'm going to continue to work on um, throughout the offseason here and show that that's something that I can do and, and do consistently. <laughs>